Hey, Sarah. Hey, honey. Sarah's a mama. She's got little Sophie here. I'm wondering if little Sophie isn't going to turn black like her daddy. She's about a month and a half, two months old. Opal is going to have baby here in October. That's Fred. He's for sale if somebody wants him. Power Up, Rosie, Penny, and Stormy. And we'd sell Penny too. She'd make somebody a good pasture pet. What, Sophie? What, Sophie? You're a nice little girl, huh? You're a good little girl. Okay, I'm going to go out here to the chicken. To the chicken, show you those real quick. I wanted to show you the baby donkey. Running three chicken tractors so far this year. I need to get two more built. One's running our layers, one's running uh, Cackle Hatchery Mystery Pack, which I think it's going to be our last year for, for that because it just, it didn't turn out the way it should have. And then... Okay. This chicken tractor, um, for those of you who have been following me for a really long time, um, this here was originally a mobile chicken coop. Well, actually, originally it was a Sultan style chicken tractor. Then I put the roof on it because I get tired of being low and hard to get into. And then I put it on a wagon gear and took it off the wagon gear five or six years ago. We haven't used this. And then... Um, just recently I put a set of skids under it, it's got a pair of skids under it and, uh, made it into a chicken tractor, um, kind of because we needed it. Um, this has our layers in it. I see there's a layer in it. That's a guinea egg. Um, we've got six guineas in here, I guess, and maybe a half a dozen chickens um we have automatic water in all of our chicken coops and probably the easiest to show you on this one uh we have the drinker cups it's made out of pvc with a special tea and then we screw those into that tea and then it comes up here to a bucket and then in the bucket we have an inexpensive valve um, and the reason for that is we don't want pressure going into those drinking cups because the pressure will cause them to leak. So we bring pressure into the, the bucket and then from the bucket we go and we try to keep it inside here so it doesn't get hit with, uh, uh, there's lots of eggs in there today. Um, so that's this chicken tractor. It's a little on the heavy side. You're not going to pull it by hand but it does a really nice job. And you can see the insulators around. We have a wire wire that goes around all of our chicken tractors and we make a hot from a solar um, fencer back there. And that keeps the predation out of our, our chickens. Um, now this here is our mystery pack that we have. I'm a little disappointed this year in what these birds turned out to be. Um, we had two ducks, two turkeys, and then the rest of these. Well, there's about five or six of them that, were, that are um, about five or six of these that are from a hen that had hatched for us. And these birds are basically nothing special birds. You know, it would be nice 
you know, there is some rare ones here, don't get me wrong, but they're not necessarily the rare ones that we like. So, Emmy and I discussed it, and next year I think we're going to go with the egg layer special, which has all different colors of eggs in it. Um, they have some really neat lay-in chickens now that, I mean, have some of the most beautiful eggs in it. So, we're probably going to go that route. Um, and our chicken tractors are moved once a day. And this in here, the bucket's up on the top, comes down into our drinkers. This one here had a lot of damage on it from a really strong windstorm that we had last year. I put wafer board on the one side of it and it just ballooned it and, and rolled it and, and busted it all up. So we got it fixed. Okay, and now this here is one of the new enterprises that we started with this year. And reason being for this is a friend of mine had mentioned about geese and how much manure that they make. Yeah, so I decided that we would give it a try and see see what we could come up with. And so far, you can see those see those spots in the manure there. That's not mud. That's that's goose goose poop. So um, you can see how much manure those geese are are putting down. I mean, it's getting them a little more feed. Um, you can see how much manure that they're putting down, and we're going to see. We're going to see what we can do with them. I don't know. We're going to try and maybe market some um, goslings next year. Uh, but, like I said, I don't know quite for sure. Um, we're giving it a try. I think with the manure that they put out, and we'll look behind the chicken tractor here soon and see what our manure looks like. Um, but this here is our first chicken tractor with the hoops and it works extremely well it didn't blow over on us or anything um however it is a little bit low for myself and walker to be in but i mean she doesn't she's pretty comfortable coming in here and um collecting there's not actually no eggs in here now but we did have the laying hens in here and then uh you can see the geese we have a little different drinking cup for the geese I wanted them to have a little more water because they seem to need a little bit more water. Um, uh, these specific drinking cups fill. They keep a certain amount of water in them all the time. Whenever they get empty, they, they fill back up. And I see the geese are kind of making a muddy mess out of them, but as long as they work, we're good, good to go. Um, but if you look behind here... And we have the anti-roll device on all, all three of our chicken tractors. But look at the manure these geese are putting behind. I mean, they're really laying the manure down. So I'm hoping to see a huge difference. So, okay guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm going to try not to uh, edit the videos nearly as much as I used to. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And we'll talk to you on the next one.